Hello, I'm your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and I appear to be suffering from background bleed, distortion in the background. This is a problem when you're dealing with the um, uh, with Microsoft Teams. There's lots of distortion in the background and it comes and goes. Some sessions it's there, some sessions it's not there. I'm just going to have to tell people it's my halo. Right, okay, let's get to work. I'm going to share my screen. This session we're talking about the definition of a logarithm. Ends up being important to your immediate future. Okay, so. Now, not what I want. Okay. Try it again. Share. Desktop. That's what I want. Okay. We have our calculator here. We have our homework here. Let's get to work, okay? Number one, graph the equation on paper and then choose the correct graph from over here. Okay. Here we have an equation solved for X in terms of Y. Well, this is complicated and not something we can often deal with. So we're going to use the definition of a logarithm to put this in the right place, in the right form. Okay, now first we have to name our parts. The two, whoop, here, the two is what we call the base. It's the base of the exponent. Y is the exponent. And what we call X is kind of up for grabs. In a minute, it's gonna be called the argument. But right now, let's just call it the answer. Now, the only way to solve for y, and this wasn't known for hundreds of years, people pulled out their hair trying to solve this equation for y, and they didn't know how to do it until John Napier showed them how, okay? And his assistant, Briggs. This is going to be changed to logarithmic form using the definition of a logarithm. Here is the definition of a logarithm. Log. The base goes down here. The argument goes here on the same level as log. Now, argument here and answer here are the same thing. Start with the same letter, they're the same thing. Equals the exponent. This is the definition of a logarithm. I'm going to rewrite this into logarithmic form so I can graph it. And I'm gonna show you how to graph it. Okay, here we go. We're going to have log. Base two of X equals Y. Or if you prefer, y equals log base 2 of x. Kind of strange, huh? 
LOG and LN, you're going to meet both of them, are just functions. They're funny looking functions. Instead of f of x, we write LOG or LN. It will take a while for this to become more familiar to you, but it'll happen. Okay, let's go over here and graph. This is the TI-84 plus CE emulator from TI, Texas Instruments. I am going to click on Y equals. Now I have no need of this, so I'm going to clear. See the clear button right here. Now, I need LOG. Let's get our paper back. I need to graph LOG base 2 of X equals Y, or rather Y equals log base 2 of X. We're going to do this in two ways. Okay, two ways. The first way is this. I'm going to go to math. And I'm going to scroll down using the down arrow key here. And I'm going to click on enter here, log base. This is what log base does. It provides a place for me to put the base and the argument. I already have it in Y equals LOG of a base, of, that is LOG base of X. Okay, so here we go. The base is two, I'm going to click on two. Notice that, that your key strikes are down here. Then I'm going to put an X in there. Nope, nope, nope. There now. I had to choose the right arrow key. I had to choose the right arrow key. So here's X, X, X. We get our X from this button right here. And I'm going to hit the right arrow key again just to clean it up. So now I have Y1, which just means Y equals log base 2 of X. And I'm going to graph it right here. See the graph key? Click. There. Now this doesn't really start here. It's important for you to know that. This starts way down here at negative infinity. And it never crosses the y-axis, but starts out extremely close, infinitely close, and then moves slightly farther away the higher it goes. The grapher simply lacks the resolution to show this getting closer and closer and closer, this blue line getting closer and closer to the y-axis as it goes down, 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 down forever. But this is what log base 2 of x looks like. So now we can choose the answer. It's B. And we're done. I actually chose to print the answers so that you could see, and we're going to be discussing, and so you'll see why, uh, why the answers are the way they are. Okay. Okay. Now, here we have x equals base one sixth raised to the y power. Again, one sixth is the base, y is the exponent, and x is about to be the argument. I'm going to use the definition of a logarithm, which is y equals log 
base one sixth of x. Looks kind of strange, but you'll get used to it. I was going to graph this in another way, this first one. Well, let's take care of this first. Then we'll go back and we'll graph both of them using another method that works just as well. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to click on Y equals. I'm going to clear this. Remember, you can stop this uh, video and you can go back and watch again. Okay, log right here, log. Ah, ah, uh, no, 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 not yet. Okay, clear this. We're going to go to math and we're going to use this down arrow key to move down, 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 down. Down to log base and hit enter. Now, in the base, I'm going to be putting one sixth. And in the argument, I'm going to put an X. So, one divided by six. Then I hit the right arrow key. And then I put X. And then I go to the outside with the right arrow key. Okay, now I'm going to graph this. Now this is turned over, as you can see from the other one. The other one looked like this. This one looks like this, this graph. And it doesn't start there. It actually continues up, 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 up forever, always getting closer and closer and closer to the y-axis axis. But now we know what it looks like. We can go over here and click on A. And there you have it. Kind of strange, but that's the way it is. Now, we have, uh, we have others, but we're not going to do that. We're going to graph each of these in a different way. Just watch. I am going to erase this. Erase, erase. Eraser is right here. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a line. That's just to separate what we're about to do. I'm going to go over here and click enter because I have to. And now this is what I'm going to type in the graphing calculator. We'll have y1 equals, whoops, whoops, I don't need that anymore. I need this. y1 equals, now this is going, this is y equals log base two of x, right? I'm going to use something called the change of base formula because not everybody has log base. So let's do this. This is called the change of base formula. I take the log of X and divide it by the log of two. Okay? Easy to do. OK, let's come over here and give this a try. We're going to go to Y equals. We're going to clear this. I'm going to type in log X. And close my parentheses divided by log what was the base? The base was two, okay. Log two. And close the parentheses. 
This is called the change of base formula, and it's good to use it when you don't have log base. Go to graph it. Yes, indeed, looks just like the other one did. And here it is right here, which is indeed the answer. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Instead of writing log base one sixth of X, which is what we would do with log base, we're going to write Y equals or Y one equals log X over log one sixth. And when you when you put this in the graphing calculator, there are parentheses around both arguments. Now you might be wondering, well, what happens to the base? There's no base here and there's no base here. We're going to be talking about it in a minute. So until then, trust me. Let's go over here. And we're going to hit Y equals again. And I'm going to clear this because we're done with it. Clear. Now I'm going to type log X divided by log left parenthesis. Ah, 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 ah. Bad, bad, Barbara. I have to go back with the back arrow. Now notice the cursor is blinking on top of the left parenthesis. I need to dump that. I need to delete it. I'm going to click delete. Boom! It's gone. And now I can type a 1 divided by 6 and close the parentheses. And then graph. Yep, looks exactly, exactly the same as the answer there. So, you might prefer using log base, but always remember if you don't have log base on your calculator, you can use the change of base formula and still get the right answer. It's very handy. Okay, talk to you later.